Hello and welcome to New Recruits. I should have done this a while ago. Yeah. If you haven't noticed, I don't really source things except if it's a newspaper description or quote from the time. So there's a reason I did that, which I'll get to in the end of this, but I just want to go over some of my sources. Bruce Cadden, The Civil War. Good book overall on the topic, well-rounded. It's really, it's really useful as just like making sure I can connect all the points into the bigger picture. Ah, uh, this. This is actually, um, I won this in a competition at a Civil War camp I did when I was younger. It, it's why it matters to today a little bit. And also, like, it has some really nice uh, pictures. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this, but if you've ever seen the ones that go through their ranks and uniforms, it's, like, literally the one to look for. Like, this has a lot of good illustrations. It also came with this map, which is a little bit uh, ripped, has a long time. So... This I used to connect the war within himself. This I used to connect the war and kind of like know what to emphasize. The Civil War day by day. This isn't the only way I know what's happening. I also have an online source, uh, Blue and Gray Trail, which is helpful with some of the lesser known stuff like a promotion or like conversation. But if you want something in book form that covers minutia of the Civil War, like... This includes uh, battles between the Union and Native Americans, or Confederates and Native Americans. Would recommend. I use this a lot, looking at it. The West Point Atlas of Maps. Mm. It's a good book. It has, it's exactly what you think of it. It has a, a lot of maps, and it covers it. I've used this so far for the Bull Run episode, and I'm going to use it for, like other big battles, but this is only like if you want a map to understand the big battles. I know there's other books that do something similar. Don't know much about the Civil War. It's just like some covering the big things like who McClellan is or who Lincoln is and like what is this all about? It's a perfectly fine book. It's not. I don't usually use it that often. Rebel Yell. Stonewall Jackson's biography. It's very well known. Big fan of the author's work overall. I'm going to be using this as he becomes a bigger and bigger character. This is just probably the best Civil War book. Battle Cry of Freedom goes into the battles. Just has some good statistics. Just... I don't really can think of, like, many of the times I used it for individual smaller stuff. Like, especially early on, I definitely did, used uh, Civil War day by day a lot. Really good. And then there's Von Chernow's uh, grant. It's about economic grants from the U.S. government. No, it's uh, about U.S.'s US grant. He's going to... I don't want to like spoil anything, but I, you might want to keep an eye on him. He's, I have a feeling he's going to go places. Real, really well done, really well researched. But these are like normal books. They aren't the only ones I use. Ah, just these books. Okay, I don't know exactly how I wanted do this. I really probably should have thought about that before. Okay. The Civil War, the story of the war with maps, it's it's a lot like the West Point Atlas of maps because of duh. But also like general overview, so like they have like maps of America and I can like use them to kind of keep track of where people are. Like, I can bring up, like, this army's marching here during this time. I, By the time this episode should be out, um, I just I brought up Fremont's march uh, the previous week. 
um, in none of the sources does his march come up until it's after it's finished. So I, using this book, I could tell in advance that's what I wanted to write. Blue coats. Um, it has pictures of uniforms from 1848 to 1897 in America. What do I use this for? I use it because I can't just keep on saying Union and Confederates, though I do do that a lot. Uh, I, I use this because I want to talk about, like, musket fire. Oh, what's another? This is the synonym book. It is like a thesaurus for me. Civil War, medical instrument and equipment. Why do I have these? I want to bring up this stuff at some point, a little bit within episodes. But also, this is definitely for another more standard new recruits episode. Then, I've got. Then there's Osprey. I cannot recommend these guys enough. I have um, Lincoln's 90 Day Volunteers. I'll be doing an episode on that. Sharpshooters of the American Civil War. The American Civil War in the Indian Territory. The Army of Northern Virginia. The Iron Brigade. American Civil War Artillery 1. I don't have all of them yet. Uh, Amer the American Civil War Parts uh, 1 and 2. I'm going to get uh, 3 and 4. Uh, parts 1 and 2 are the West and the East, 1861 to July of 1863. Um, Ulysses S. Grant. He's going to be big. Uh, it says Appomattox 1865, I think. This is from a different war. There's no way it could go on for that long. African American soldiers, Union infantry versus Confederate infantry, Confederate cavalry versus Union cavalry, Union, sharp, Union sharpshooter versus Confederate sharpshooter, and First Bull Run. Um, if you thought my First Bull Run episode was really long because it was like 50 minutes or documentary, this book, this book, and I don't remember, but uh, an online source I used. I was the National Park Service. I remember if it was a description of the battle or regional park service I used with a pamphlet that I have slightly cycled now. I don't remember which one of those I used for a majority of it, but that would be like a 20-minute episode. This moved it up to 50. So that's what I, that's what I use for the day-to-day -day and for... um. The Israeli stuff, I have the Six-Day War, the Breaking the Middle East, this was for the episodes relating to with the Soviet Union. Then I have other books I want about because I'm really interested in that conflict. It's actually my area of expertise. No, not professional. This is the stuff I study the most before I decide to do this. And UN Forces, also by Osprey, all really good stuff. I'd say, if I was doing book recommendations for this, Osprey is what you want if you want to, like, learn about something really important. So, like, let's say you're like, I really want to know a lot about what the offenses and battles of the Russian Civil War were. They have a book for, on that. But, like, if you wanted, like, oh, I want one book I can read and get a general idea, that would be stuff like uh, Battle Cry of Freedom or the Civil War. Both really good. Um, but why did I make this video? It's because I wanted to explain um, this. This is Shelby Foote's masterpiece. This is really helpful. Even before I got this in person copies, I had scans of them that I could read from. Which means I'm going to have to talk about Shelby Foote um, a little bit. I don't, he's, he's wrong about m many uh, political things. Like, just to get down to it, he's not just um, a lost causer, which is already <laughs> iffy. And usually not a good thing in a historian, but he also is, like, apologizing for the KKK. There's um, a quote where he defended the KKK, by saying they were better than the French resistance during World War II, because apparently he believes off of absolutely nothing that the KKK fought against lynching of African Americans during Reconstruction. And he said, like, 
the French resistance, specifically the Maquis, blew up trains because, you know, they were fighting the Nazis and that's bad. All I'm saying, not a big fan of the guy. He is wrong and morally not good, but he is. these books are the definitive way to read the Civil War in depth. They are helpful when I want to describe battles or characters. I don't use them for politics. So just if you're like looking at my scene, you're like, why does he have these books? It's kind of because I need them if I want to truthfully tell you about these small battles like the skirmish at blah, blah, blah river. It's in this book, but when it comes to like... Nathan Bedford Forrest, which he's a personal fan of, and as a cavalry commander and infantry com and just commander, like, he was impressive, but as a human being, he is not. So, this is for battles and, like, character descriptions, like, he describes uh, Beauregard pretty well. But this is not where I'm going to be getting my politics from. I don't agree with him on many things. There's that. But, specifically, where do I get my uh, Sickles information from? I love Sickles so much. He is kind of an anomaly. Um, if you know about more about Greek history, it's Alcibiades. Like, this man has charisma for days. Um, I'll do, like, a two-hour documentary on him. American scoundrel Thomas Kennelly, or Kennelly, he wrote Schindler's List. This book is amazing. It doesn't, it spends, like, only half of it on his Civil War life and post-life, and most of it is um, for a, the trial, which we'll talk about, but, like, even if you only care about Dan Sickles during Civil War, which is a waste of Dan Sickles. Get this book if you really like him. And these are all my physical stuff. Besides, like, also, I saw from Battlefields, I have some pamphlets to around here. But, of course, the, in these books, I don't have about the Battle of Pinos Altos or any of that. National Park Service, godsend. Regional. But it connects regional park services that uh, websites I can go to, which are also very helpful. But, like, I've never, if I had to talk about my favorite government agencies before doing the series, National Park Service would be like in the running, but it wouldn't be at, like in my top 10. Thank you, National Park Service. And also, I don't like. I do kind of use Wikipedia because if I want to get to, um, there's a lot of like resources that are both in the public domain that aren't like well known. So they have battlefield reports that I can read through, though those are not the best for casualty numbers, more of like if they want to give a review of the battle, but also um, American Battlefield Trust that is very good. And I use sources that are, um, I remember there was a skirmish at Doug Springs, Missouri. Um, w Wikipedia helped because they, one of the people who edited it, I mean, it's not like Wikipedia writes it itself. One of the people who edited it went into this description, which they used for um, the casualties. But like, oh my God, that was, I was able, the Wikipedia was like two sentences. I was able to write a paragraph from that description. Then. I mean, I would like to say I use my library sources, but it's COVID time, so I can't go to my library. But this is it, kind of. I mean, I use a little bit of online sources as long as I can, like, check to make sure they're telling the truth. So American Battlefield Trust, what they link to. Then you have, like... National Park Service and those things. Um, physical books, very good. If you only care about battles, uh, this is the go-to series. I don't, but like, also, like, battles are kind of cool when I talk about them. 
Ospre, if you want to dive in depth, though, of course, it doesn't. I can't buy books on the skirmish at Doug Spring, and Osprey doesn't make them. So you're like, oh, I live nearby Gettysburg. I really want to learn about Gettysburg. You could check these guys out. Um, wow, that's not even all of them. Um, biographies, really good for when I'm talking about them. I was able to. I had a hard time trying to track down exactly when dates are because despite the fact there were newspapers at the time, when things happened or like exactly where people are is not well defined. So um, the taking of Paduk, uh, Kentucky, I third, fourth, when was it? Was it peaceful? Glad I found a scan of this book before I bought it in person. and. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. These are my sources. If you would recommend any other ones, I would be more than happy to look into them. It's not exactly like I have every definitive thing about the Civil War, but why don't I include these in the um, description? I don't know like actually how to source them in an effective way. They don't want like, you know, the one, the numbering system where like, and when I talk about something, I bring it up because also if I'm going to source things, I want to source which is which because I do not want to like say like, get this book, uh, Grant, it's going to tell you all about the Indian Wars, which came from this one. And it might seem simple doing this, but. All of, I have to synthesize these works, so when I craft the story, it's kind of impossible for me to say which word or which sentence or which idea came from an individual book. Until I can do that, I'm really just going to say, look at this video, or if you are willing to trust that I did the research, I guess you don't need to, but Grant... Rebel Yell, don't know much about the Civil War. This one occasionally, Shelby Foot, National Geographic, Bruce Cranton's The Civil War, Ospreay's work, The Civil War, Blue Coats, Civil War, The Story of Maps, Instruments and Equipment of Medical, Civil War Encyclopedia, About Cry of Freedom, Civil War Day by Day, so, The Civil War, A Narrative by Shelby Foot. American Survey by Thomas Kennerly, American Battlefield Trust, National Park Service. Those are my sources. And, of course, uh, newspapers and that. This is what I have to give you. And then when it comes to episodes on, like, uh, Israeli-Palestine conflict in the Soviet Union, a lot of that came from Marxist.org because they keep copies on everything and also... UN resolutions, those are kept through the UN. It's one of the few good things there. I uh, really don't like them. Episode on the zoo is waiting because currently I have like this book, um, some online sources, but I, I need more. I need uh, the Ian McKnight books in person. So, these are my sources.